Hey there, my name is Tobin and I'm a Kaseya consultant at Proval Technologies. In this video, we'll be discussing report parts and how to utilize them when building reports. Let's get into it. Report parts contain collections of data from each module within the VSA that can be compared together to create reports. A large number of the reports that you will be looking to create will be attached to the audit section. So a lot of times you'll come to audit first. When building non-legacy reports, it's very important to remember that report parts can only include those fields that are listed in the data set, which is right here where you can see these fields. It's very important to remember that if you have custom fields that you're filling out either manually or automatically with a procedure, these custom fields cannot be used in reports built from report parts as the custom field is not contained within the data set. If you are looking to utilize custom report, I'm sorry, custom fields, you will need to create a legacy report. Report parts also contain pre-configured reports that you can utilize. For example, if we expand all, you will see these pre-configured reports. So the portion with the blue icons are the report parts that have the data sets. The icons that have bar, graph, and table, those are pre-configured reports. Those cannot be modified. So let's say you're looking to create a report for drives, but you aren't sure which report contains the data you're looking for. So let's search disk and we're going to get a few and let's take a look on the right hand side. Let's see what fields are available. You can see that there are some similarities to some of these columns, uh, some of the names, the fields that you can get, but there are also a few that are not available in each of these. So you have to make sure you grab the correct report part to get the correct data you're looking for. So for this one, let's say disk volumes is, is found to be what you're looking for. Let me show you how to pull that report part into a report. Let's select reports. Let's select new report and make sure to select report, not legacy, report. So here you can see that you have all of those folders, all of those categories. Let's select audit. On this side, you can see that we have the option for new custom report, which is what I think you will be using most of the time. And then you have all of the pre-configured reports as well. But let's select new custom report, select next. Let's go ahead and give it a name. And let's expand report parts, audit. Let's grab disk volume and move it over. And let's say we're, we're going to make this a table. Let's also select the resize, expand right. This will ensure that the entirety of the table uses the entirety of the report from left to right, rather than pushing itself just on one side of the left or one side of the right. Let's select save. Actually, let's do this first. Let's select configure. And here, you're going to see where you can select these columns. Let's make sure that we give it a name as well. So you've got a bunch of different columns in here, whatever ones that you might want to use. So I'm going to do machine ID, label, and use space in gigabytes. So that is how you would use a report part to put in the data that you are looking for on a very, a very particular report. There are obviously a lot of report parts. Um, they uh, cover the entirety of VSA, but it's very important to remember that they cannot be combined. You're only going to get those columns, those data set, those fields that are available in each report part. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you were able to glean some knowledge from it. If you have anything specific that you would like us to cover, please do let us know. Bye-bye.